Both of them come in at five foot nine, so there shouldn't be any reach advantage either way. A little bit more experience on Kelly's side of the ledger, but uh, you mentioned it earlier. Azair coming in, he's four and one, and uh, the other at eight and two. So the ratio identical on both sides. Just a matter of uh, one of them having had a few more opportunities uh, down there in Wyoming uh, to, to get a little more, a little more experience. And Azair motioning to not touch gloves to the start of the round. That might tell you he wants to get things started off right, right away. Leg kick, inside leg kick coming from Shane, the Crusader Kelly. These guys are feeling out each other a little bit. Ajer grabbing a big takedown, starting to pour it on. Pouring it on, and Kelly Kelly up with a ferocious pace. He, he wanted to get off the ground there, did not want it to be underneath Ajer. And Ajer pouring it on. Back on the ground, trying to get on top so he could potentially end it here as uh, trying to get Kelly pinned to the ground and then start really pouring it on. Uh, you can hear probably Auger's corner in the background here. Oh. As, uh, and Kelly doing a great job working on a sweep here in the mount. Kelly taking the mount. Little twi little turn of events here. Kelly takes the mount. Now he takes the back. Looks like he's got his hooks in. Auger is in a bad spot here. What Kelly wants to do is stick his chest, keep his chest to the back, stick on Auger and not give him an inch. Keep that back mount. Starting to pour on some strikes from this position. Auger needs to work. Auger, needs, he needs to work out. He needs to work out of this position. He cannot rest here. This is a bad position. This is when your king is in check. Kelly trying to get a hook there, and Auger looked early on in this, this first round that he was going to be the more active fighter, but Kelly certainly has turned it around as we head to the back half of round number one. Kelly throwing some good peppering shots, nothing huge here, not really pouring out his gas tank, looking for the finish here, looking for a choke. Does he have it? I can't tell if can't he's tell under the chin. can't tell from this angle. It certainly looks like he may. And he's out. He's out. Good job by Azir, keeping his chin tucked, defending well. And you see that Kelly is now on his back. He, if you can take the top, if you can stay on top on the back, that's great. He wants to keep give give Azir no space, stay on stay on the back, commit to it, own the position, and dominate from there. He's got the body triangle set up. As I said, that puts tremendous pressure on the midsection here. Restricts the breathing, constricts the lungs. You can't take as deep of a breath. You can't get your breath in. And we're gonna choke again here. And Kelly back on top of him. And trying to get some strikes in there from the that top position. Auger very, very quiet, except for that first maybe 30 or 40 seconds of the Ten first seconds. Round. Oh, he came out hard. He, he came, came out, out very, very he hard. He came out very hard. End up getting yourself in a bad position. And that's the problem, you know. It's this is this is not necessarily a sprint. And it's the first round of your 170 pound title fight presented by Trackside Auto Body. Great sportsman shown by both, great sportsmanship shown by both these fighters here. We looking for, see what adjustments they make in round uh, round two. Ajer might, uh, might not want to go to the ground with Kelly. No, I, that certainly seems to be Kelly's strategy. And uh, you know, it did look early on that Ajer uh, you know, had ideas or designs on uh, coming out very, very quickly, trying to kind of catch Kelly's by surprise. Kelly, of course, is the more experienced fighter. He does have a couple of losses on his record, so he's not invincible. But, uh, you know, this is not uh, the type of sport where there's necessarily a ton of tape on guys e either. And, and it's still a relatively small community, so I'm sure... You have some idea about uh, you know the other fighters and, and what they like to do, what they don't. On the other hand, everybody's always working to get better too. And so just because they maybe have not won a fight in a given way before doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's not teaching them how to get better in that particular dis uh, discipline. Yeah, they Dave. may very well come out and do it the next fight. Constantly reinventing themselves, constantly adding wrinkles to their games, working on it. And especially both these fighters with Ajer uh, with one loss, Kelly with two losses. They've tasted that and they've gone to make those corrections. You can guarantee they're going to be looking to take advantage of those uh, corrections that they've made in training camps tonight. Let's see how round two goes. Shane Crusader Kelly versus Daniel Eagle Catcher Ager. The fighters in the middle of the ring now, feeling each other out a little bit. 
Kelly, I think, comfortable with what he was able to do and accomplish there in round one. Ajer needs to do something different here in the second round. And they are swinging. Ajer is swinging some shots. Oh, landed a big shot there. He rocked him. He is on proverbial roller skates, Dave. Big kick. These guys are throwing down. Throwing down. Training, training hooks. Working for the finish. Both these fighters. And a big takedown by Daniel. Crusader Kelly, what an exciting second round, Dave. No kidding. Awful, awful good start to the second round, and uh, Kelly back on the ground with Auger, and uh, Kelly did take some nasty shots early on in this second round. Auger, uh, I think, probably recognizing after advice from his corner, probably didn't win the first round, so you better go out there and give him a show the second round if you're uh, intending to get back into this fight. Absolutely, and Auger, he's giving up his back again here. He does not want Kelly on his back. Kelly trying to work that arm in for a choke, trying to work around to the back. If he can throw that second hook in, it's going to be a big problem for Auger. And Auger works to take top position. He's in half guard now, and he's starting to pour it on. I tell you what, exciting second round to kick this thing off, Dave. The thing that it doesn't appear to me, though, is that Auger is actually doing any damage. He, he has spent some time on top, and he, has, he did throw a bunch of big punches right at the beginning of this uh, second round. But Kelly certainly seems to have basically had his way with him thus far. Working for a guillotine is Ajer, and Kelly uses it to transition, sweep, and pass into side control here. You know, the damage was done when they were trading. They both inflicted right. some damage on each other there. They're using this as a little bit of a, uh, a little opportunity. A little bit of a breather. Yep, catch their breath. But continue, you know, you don't want to catch your breath on bottom in a bad position. Kelly continuing to work for that guillotine, and they transition again. Auger pouring it on from the top. Auger able to rotate around, and he does have the top position right now. He is landing punches, but he's typically landing most of them off of Kelly's arm. So how much damage they're actually doing is a little bit difficult to tell. We'll see. Uh, certainly, we have seen already in the fights tonight how quickly they can change. Absolutely. Sitting in topside half card is Auger landing punches. Though not the biggest shots ever, they do add up, and they definitely add up in the judges' scorecards, Dave. So, Auger doing what he can to take over this second round as he and probably Auger, lost couple, the first. A couple nasty shots there. He snaps the head back. And Kelly's got to be working to get Ten out of this seconds. position. seconds! Just because he has some safety in this half guard. And he taps! Oh. He taps! Auger wins! Tap so out by close. strikes! So Auger probably behind on the cards, but uh, drew blood, and that was enough. And uh, Crusader Kelly taps out uh, Auger's camp in the ring. Uh, very, very excited about that. The doctor in there as well. He will check out Crusader Kelly and uh, make sure that he's okay. So Shane, the Crusel Crusader Kelly, taps out from strikes in the second round at Fusion Fight League. Fantastic card so far. Some big shots landed in that fight. Great transitions on the ground, top right. to bottom. Great we heart shown by both fighters right up until the end when Shane the that Crusader was Kelly pound title tapped from fight strikes brought to, you by to Daniel Auger. Auto body. And your winner by tap out, fighting out of the blue corner, it's Daniel E. 